It's so important to detox. Many times we focus on detoxing the body and forget that there are other ways to detox that require attention too, like detoxing our space or space clearing, decluttering, getting rid of old items that need to be let go of, or energetic detoxing, looking at the things that are draining our energy, relationship detoxing, going through and cleaning up our relationships. We do, in a detox, get rid of toxins, but that could be a toxic behavior. Maybe something we're eating isn't necessarily unhealthy, but the way, the quantity, how we're eating it is actually unhealthy. Or maybe it's not a particular relationship that is toxic or unhealthy. It's just the way that we're communicating with each other that needs to be detoxified. A few months ago, I posted a video saying, the fall is a great time to detox. What will you be detoxing? In my mind at the time, I was focusing on the body, going through my usual fall detox. But I wasn't making the connection at the time to all the different levels that I would be detoxing. I'm finding myself naturally detoxing my energy, my data, habits, what I'm eating, how I'm eating it, what I'm doing, how I'm spending my time, how I'm communicating. There's been so much information that I've received about my life over the last six months, but definitely over the last couple of years. And it feels like I've been in this sort of research, examine, pay attention, observe, but don't take any real action. I like, had this vision, this vision that was big and it felt overwhelming. And the way that I felt the vision was like I was floating in a raft in the ocean, on a tattered raft in the ocean. And I could see 25 years of baggage sitting on the shore in front of me. And my vision, the dream, was sitting at the top of a peak, and that peak was Mount Everest. So while I was in the raft floating in the ocean, maybe it was a shipwreck, who knows, <laughs> I was looking at what needed to happen to get to the dream, and it seemed overwhelming, it seemed impossible, it seemed heavy it seemed like there was no way I could do it and I just kind of kept joking with myself saying maybe I can grow wings and just you know fly up there and bypass it all and it's felt frustrating because a lot of the times it feels like I'm not accomplishing accomplishing anything I'm not getting anything done I'm not making any headway but a couple of days ago everything I was doing was feeling hard and challenging and I just inadvertently said Oh, I feel like I'm climbing up the side of a mountain. And as soon as I said that, I thought, oh my gosh, I'm no longer floating in the ocean. I'm actually climbing the mountain. Look at that. <laughs> and that changed my energy and the, the task, what I was involved in. I got a little bit more motivated. And it was the very next day where a teacher showed me the peak. And so all of a sudden, the peak was in sight. And um, yeah, it's still a climb up the side of the mountain, but somehow I made it from the you know shipwreck in the sea with all the baggage up the side of the mountain so that's where I'm at climbing a mountain working through an energetic detox physical detox and processing out my message every day with the sunset and seeing what happens it's an unfolding story <laughs> so if you happen to be watching and heard this Thank you for hearing me. Thank you for listening. And it would be awesome if you would comment, like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I intend to keep posting videos and this will be an unfolding story. I'm sure of it. <laughs> Have a great day, infinite blessings. Thank you.